uh, sorry, so it's uh, like uh, get good drums, modern and massive. That is what we're using uh, on this song, Chaos and Waffles, and I just love it to bits. Be sure to check out their Facebook page, uh, Get Good Drums, and because um, they have like sales going all the time. I think there's still one going for Stay Indoors. It's like if you add in a coupon like Indoors 33, you get. And I'm not again. I'm not sort of endorsed. It's just stuff that I like. Um, not sponsored. Not anything. So uh, yeah, check it out. Maybe maybe you'll like it. Um, they've they've got sort of discounts going kind of all the time, so let's go into the lead synths. What are you? Pretty interesting looking here. Well, that's that's a popcorn sound. If I ever did hear one, please tell me you have presets. You don't. Okay. Okay, oscillator one. Okay. Noise. Octave. We're gonna be making a weird noise. Hold on a second. So LFO. Sync. The LFO is not doing anything. Glide. It's very weird. I don't know how to use this synth. <laughs> Let's try something else. Let's try to find a sound, right? So PG8X, what are you? Oh, you're this thing. Wait, did this thing didn't... I think this thing crashed my system last time. Oh, I know what I want. I want the Mono Fury. This is what I want. Cheers, Chaos and Waffles! Cheers! Okay, Horn of Sync. Yeah? Sounds like crap, right? <clears throat> but when you run it through guitar amps, <laughs> God. oh God. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me actually. So we've got the the. Let's try. Let's try actually the tone we have in here. So, um, riff C. This is this is what what even are you? So this is gonna be like riff D. Is this the D riff? I actually can't freaking remember. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. It's it's getting late over here. <laughs> um, so we've got the a uh, a riff, right? We've got the B riff, right? Then we've got the C riff. Then we've got the D riff. Which sucks and needs a lot more stuff to actually be interesting. Yes, I remember. So this is the E riff. Okay, okay. Now I know what I'm doing. Ish. So riff E. Um. Yeah. Uh, just be careful. Oh, by the way, Chaos and Waffles, just be careful to kind of follow. They have some tutorials on their site, like video tutorials of how to set things of how to set these drums up in, in all the DAWs, including Ableton. Check that out because it's a bit of a headache, to be honest. Like, I love the drums, but I swear to God. I don't know if it's Contact's fault or I don't think it's it's get good if it's GGD's fault, but I, I just hate setting them up in Contact. It takes me about two or three hours. This is why, like, the first thing I did was set up a template so I can load up at least with the drum set up because I can't 
do that crap. It takes me way too long to do it. I don't, uh, not two hours, but like it's it's a solid thirty minutes, and it's annoying because you want you want to get down to business, yeah. Um, you don't want to sort of waste around here. So lead tone one. Uh, you don't want to waste time, yeah. Setting up drums because the interface is is all out of whack. But they're very, very customizable and they come with a lot of presets as well to kind of make things interesting. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's let's run some guitar amps in here. So clip, slate, tape machines, a compressor, and how about a supermassive? You know what? You know what? I'm going to use the lead synth verb actually. Riff C lead verb. There you go, buddy. I think it's up here and it's turned off because of course it is. And let's turn it on to just not forget that this is supposed to be a thing. Minus 16, that's going to be fine. Let's hear let's see what this sounds like. Um Okay. Let's see what let's see what this sounds like. Way too quiet. Let's try that again. No. Hello. That's a sound. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Let's be weird. Such an annoying sound, but I like to like I like to fit it in there somehow. Hold on. Wait, let me turn it down because <laughs> it's like so annoying. Oh my god! Basically, all I did, but I, I don't think this is synced. Like, if I could sync this to the tempo of the song, it'd be so much better. Yeah, no, <laughs> I don't know how to sync it. But <laughs> let's turn it up a little bit. Let's hear what the heck I did. And then it cut out. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. It's terrible. No, 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 no. Now, let me look at a little bit at the MIDI. So, what are we playing? We're playing. Um, so, we're, we're playing like F, F, D sharp, F, 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 F sharp, F, F. Oh, I see what we're doing here. I'm still not going to use that tone. No, no, that's too much. Flapper Zapper, excuse me. No freaking way. Well, this one actually plays in time. Okay, let's try this. Just to get a, like, I need to get a melody going, right? Something.
No! Oh my god, that's terrible. Oof! I'm sorry! Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We have- we've used this sort of sound before, right? We have it here as well, I think. Yes, the duck! But this is not the main sound, right? The main lead is- is over here. No. It's this one, right? Actually, it's the same thing. Ha! <laughs> it's the same lead! But, can I get, a, get away with playing the same thing but slightly different using the pitch band and calling it a motif? That is the question. That is the question that we're gonna answer now. I'm gonna do it like this. Pro probably next time we're gonna look at it, um, I'm gonna hate it. But let's see, and yes, the duck doth return. Let's see if we can actually get it to, to sit right, right? And I have to remember there's one extra bar here. So all I'm doing is I'm playing the F, the F, and just using the mod wheel to sort of pitch it slightly up and back down, right? And I'm trying to use my ear to kind of mat, to kind of get it to the right tone, right? I have no idea, like, what I'm doing from a theory perspective. I'm just trying to make it sound to quack or not to quack. Indeed, the question indubitably always is to quack. Now, the question is if I add in, can I make it less quacky? Like if I add in a, a, a cab on it, will it sound as terrible? I think it will. Let's try to put a filter on it for now and just take out some of the... or Oh my god, so terrible. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that's the sound. I'm not even joking right now. That's the sound, guys. <laughs> my god, this is terrible. Okay. What if, so if I distorted just with the GST clip? Yeah, this is the sound. This is totally the sound. Hold on. I messed up its timing. I also need to add in some, uh... It's so dumb, though. Can, can this be the sound? This can't be the sound, guys. Come on. This ter this can't be the freaking sound. It's terrible. Can I do the super massive? Make it like weird. Large reverb, splashy synth. Added in some delays. I know it's way too high pitched, yes, I totally agree. But how about if we duplicate it? I need to get the pitches right because they're terrible, just terrible. Horrible. Like, I don't know if they're in time. I don't know if they're out of time. I I think I messed it up now. Come on. Don't do this to me. Minus 128. Minus 20. Just sit there and don't, don't touch anything. Right? So, like, 
they also need to be in time. I'm gonna do this. It needs to be like this. Kettle boils musically. Yes, 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 Chief Monkey. And do you know why? Because of horror, right? It's a horror thing, right? You totally do this in horror music. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see if we have the pitches right. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You need to be totally not the value that you are, so you're gonna have to be over here. Um, you are terribly, terribly out of... You know, I'm out of touch. And you're out of time. And... <laughs> no... Just like that. Let's try like that. Let's see what that sounds like. Did I edit this thing or this thing? I have no idea anymore. What is reality? What is life? What is love? I know it's more like Blade Runner. And these savings are our world. Um, I, 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 I know it's very Blade Runner-ish right now, but we're gonna make it more Doom. Hold on. Right? And how do we make it more Doom, I hear you ask. Well... Well... We do the following. So first of all... Hmm... I really don't need this many tracks, right? Just the one. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna say, we're gonna render these out, right? <coughs> and stack them. Then put guitars in distortion. And then... Use some glitches or something. We'll see. We'll see. Hold on. So, first of all, I want to sort of render this out. Where... Keep... Like, render in place. Render with current settings. Do it! Do it. Okay. So this is the high note, right? This, this is the sort of exaggerated high note. Yeah. Because if you... Ha have to go out, go out on a high note, right? Um, so there you go. Now, right, this is gonna be, this is the fifth below that. One of the things that, that makes guitars sound the way they do, the tech is what sounds weird to me. Well, it's a bit delayed because it has a ton of reverb. That's the issue. But it should be on point-ish. Um, I would assume. So if we... So what's, what makes the guitar power chord sound the way it does is that it has like the root note, the fifth, and the octave above it. What if we do that with... Um with weird synth sounds, right? Um, and basically all I did, so I'm, I'm gonna show you in just a second, so render in place, render recurrent se settings, do it! So what we have here is a failure to communicate, no. What we have here is four renders, right? We've got the high octave, the fifth below that, the root note again, and the fifth below that. So this is basically like F, C, F, C, right? If we play all of these, but in different sort of panning locations, theoretically, we should be getting a pretty interesting effect. So if I go left 50, right 50, left 60, right 60, right? And we turn these down because there's a lot of them happening. 
What happens then? You might ask. It's a very good question. Let's find out. Um, and let's turn off all the effects for this track, because there sure is a lot of them. You know, I'm down for how this is sounding, but it's not there yet, right? It needs to be more forward in its sound, right? It has a lot of reverb, but it needs to be more forward. If we go in here, we group this up, we say leads, you need to go into lead since you're going to be riff E lead one, right? Like the main thing. We go over here and a handy thing that Cubase has is this Q link. If you click this and select multiple tracks, any changes you do, some plugins are not, and bear in mind that some plugins don't actually respond to this, but most do, and Cubase's functions do. Any change I make on one track applies to all of them, without actually needing to set up any sort of complicated routing beforehand. So if I go in here and I say, okay, you don't go anymore to lead since you go into riff E lead 01, bam, the routing for all my tracks has gone over here into riff E lead since. Um, so over here, over here, okay, so everything is coming in through here, now, <clears throat> I'm gonna say GST clip, we're gonna distort it to all heck, um, we're going to Ibiza, but besides that, uh, I was thinking I need something else, but let's just see what this sounds like. Ow! Oof, my ears, I'm sorry. Okay, so what if we put a guitar amp on it? Ninja! And what if we put a cab on it? Cabzilla! What happens then? And I choose... The fatty, fatty, fat boy is my guitar caps. This is a preset. I don't, I don't care what it does. I just want to see what it sounds like, really. Let's turn it down a notch and then we'll turn it back up as we go. And I think that fares pretty well, pretty goddamn well. You're goddamn right it does. But it still has like some extra reverb that's hanging out. I don't know what it is. What's sending to this reverb? It's these things that are sending to it because I don't want it to send to reverbs anymore because I'm distorting the actual reverb of these of the sound To make matters worse, how about we, we use these, these synths and plug them through our chains for our ambient guitar leads? 
What happens then? I wonder. So, for example, I can go to my lead guitars and I have this bit of space for like ambient guitar leads. Put them in there. And what I do is that I say, hey, ambient guitar leads, how about you start playing over, over there? Yeah, and basically all we're doing is we're taking synths, running them to, to the guitar pedals. That's what we're doing. It's the basic principle behind the Doom instrument, really. And yeah, this is what we have. Um, I'm kind of running on fumes right now. Let's give a listen, top to bottom. Let's see what we have so far. Um, and then we'll just hang out and chat for a little bit over here on Twitch. Um, if you guys want, if you have any questions or anything else. And then we're gonna call it. So we're gonna hang out for like 10 more minutes or something like that.